Materialism is a philosophical view which claims that nothing exists but matter. The properties of matter and natural laws can account for everything. Materialists believe that even mental phenomena can be reduced to physical processes. Materialism rejects immortal life and abstract entities, even numbers. Furthermore, proponents claim that materialism paved the ground for the advent of modern science. Materialism has its roots in ancient Greek thinkers such as Democritus, who held that everything in existence was made of atoms. He described atoms as tiny, indivisible entities. All other properties are subjective, that is to say, a product of individual human feeling and thought. Materialism as we know it, however, really took shape during a 17th century scientific revolution, when a number of thinkers emerged who argued that the basic properties of things can be explained if we look at the motion, size, and figure of their parts. René Descartes understood the body as a mechanical arrangement of matter, describing it as a statue or machine made of earth. The image of the body as mechanical mirrored what these thinkers saw as the clockwork universe. The mechanistic understanding, according to critics, is reductive and depersonalizes how people relate to their bodies. A central concern for materialist thinkers has been the mind. Does the mind have a different existence? This is one of several important questions thinkers have grappled with. While Descartes regarded mind and body as two different entities, many modern materialists argue that mind and body are based on sameness, in other words, not separate. This would mean mental processes are identical with phenomena in the brain. Some materialists have denied the existence of mind altogether. One objection raised against materialism has been that it turns everything into lifeless matter without a center. Some materialists rejected this passive conception of life as purely mechanical interlocking parts. They describe a material basis for life as opposed to the soul by describing atoms or compounds of atoms as dynamic, tiny parcels of activity. While the philosophy of materialism has developed over time, challenging questions still remain. A problem which has remained unresolved ever since the concept of matter was introduced is the identity of matter. Even with scientific advancements such as the electron microscope, which has allowed humans to dive deeply deeper into what we call matter, definitions still struggle with ambiguity. Einstein's theory of relativity created a stir in what matter itself means. Matter was displaced by mass, something interchangeable with energy. Mass is only a distortion of a space with particles appearing in and out of the void. On top of that, photons, neurons, and fields do not have mass, or if they do, it is a small. Such developments in physics have pushed materialists to shift their focus from matter to whatever science studies as its subject. Another criticism is that it's not possible in practice to conclude that there is nothing in the world but matter. How could we know that? Our knowledge is limited and always in a state of growth. We didn't know how many things existed until we discovered them, for example, genes, electrons, or electricity. If we had taken a materialist approach, our science wouldn't have grown as it has. Materialists owe us an explanation of matter, which answers our questions and clarifies the ambiguities.